Now, the next time he comes back, guess what? No doormat. He's coming in to rule and to reign. And he's not coming in, now get this, he is not coming in to change things. He's coming in to walk into what the church has already changed awaiting his, his, his arrival. Do you get that? He is seated until his footstool, until his enemies be made his footstool. In other words, he's watching us and saying, what are you doing about these situations? And so because of that, when he walks in, if you remember, whenever he sent out the 12, and then later he sent out the 70 in groups of two, and it said, go into every city and place, and the Bible says he sent them to every city and place wherewith he himself would go. So he sent them ahead of himself. Now, he was the king. He said, I want you to go into all these places, and I want you, when you go in, I want you to find who is worthy there and stay there. <clears throat> stay at that house. Don't go around from house to house and all that kind of stuff and let people try to impress you by how they take care of you better than the last family did. Go in, find a person of peace, stay there, and from there, launch ministry in that city. And his, his idea of launching ministry was very simple. Heal all the sick therein. That was the first thing. Then tell them the kingdom of God has come near you. So the idea was to go in, make a splash, change things, and then tell them the king, this is what the kingdom is like, and when you're in the kingdom, this is how you will live. Then he said he was coming after that, he would come into that city after they had healed the sick. He had no intentions of having to heal the sick. He had sent his disciples to heal the sick, all the sick that were therein. So when he walked in, he didn't expect to have to do anything to help establish the kingdom. The kingdom would have been established by his followers. 